Hello and greetings. Welcome to the place that's the Mecca for everybody who's trying to save a buck and also make a buck. This is the Cheapskate Channel and I'm here to help you get the most out of your financial resources. Today we're going to talk about another way to put a little bit of money in your pocket and possibly put a little bit of food in your stomach too. And the thing I want to talk to you about is how to literally eat a burger and have somebody pay for it. Yes, that's true. How to eat a burger, how to try on clothing, how to try on cosmetics, how to uh, try on any consumer product that they're marketing out there and give your opinion and have them pay you for your trouble. Yes, it's called being a market research respondent. Market research respondent. And lots of companies, a lot of name brand companies, will pay you or pay the marketing research company a fee to go out and acquire people like you and me to come in and try their new products or products that they are considering putting online uh, and get our opinions to see if it's good or if it sucks or if it tastes like crap or what have you and for your trouble you get a chance to have the product and you get a chance to uh, get paid and this is a wonderful thing to put a little bit of extra money in your pocket a lot of consistent money if you just get on the list where of course you sit down and fill out information about your likes dislikes and things of that nature so that they know how to tailor the uh, market research for you to call you in to try different things but once you get that set up and they have you in the system they'll call you in and you sit down and you try stuff uh, personally I've tried a number of products being a paid respondent uh, the one that most of most note that comes to mind was one where they were they didn't mention the company but by the time I saw the product I knew it was McDonald's and it was a McDonald's product that looked like a quarter pounder but it was a different type of quarter pounder and they had three different variations of it, of it up there and uh, they wanted you to give your opinion on each different variation of it whether it was moist, how it tastes, was it too spicy, was it too bland uh, was it too big, was it too small, did you like the sesame seed buns on it, you like the regular buns, did you like the special sauce that type of thing in it and uh, of course I got a chance to eat three burgers and which you know they let you keep because nobody wants a burger bag with a big bite in it and you got a chance to fill out a questionnaire on how you felt about the product you know it was fun and at the time I was in school and I needed some extra money I was broke I was the poor college student type thing and this works even if you're not a college student it just works if you're a guy or a girl who needs some extra money it would work if you are uh, down on your money and need some grocery money and they just happen to call you at the right time you go down to the center and you sit up there and eat three burgers I'm just using burgers as an example it could be eat anything or try on anything and get full uh, even this works even if you're homeless many libraries have internet access and all you have to do is go down and get on the website and register and then have a way to get to the center this is something you can't do online to test this stuff you have to physically be at the center now me being in Atlanta uh, they have an excellent rapid rail system here and the center was just a couple of blocks from one of the rail stations so I went down there got off the train went to the center went up lo and behold they wanted me to eat burgers which was right up my alley because I wasn't a vegan then and I set up and I ate to my heart's content and uh, well if they're paying me I would eat some burgers today you know of course I'd have to go cleanse afterwards but you know money is money and I am a cheapskate and two or three little burgers won't kill me you know might upset my stomach these days but it wouldn't kill me but anyway you can be a paid respondent and it could be anything any food item it could be a consumer item it could be socks it could be shoes it could be drawers it could be anything you know who knows what it could be? It could even be a condom manufacturer for all I know. You'd be a paid respondent. They will pay you to do this. Who can fight with that? 
They'll give you a check. Sometimes they just pay you cash. Cash is always good. But if they pay you a check, just go and deposit it in your account or go and deposit it uh, someplace and have it put on your debit card. Remember, it's a payroll check. If you have your little Walmart money card, go there and have them put it on your little debit card and spend it like you want. It's extra money or it's emergency money or it's money you can put away to save or money you can go put and give to your kids for it. Remember, Google for being a paid respondent. They have different companies in each city, so it would be not practical for me to give you a specific company name. The thing to do is to go look up market research companies. Give them a call, see if they have paid respondents, and ask them, how do you register? And if they have a, a thing where they see an application, give them your address, have them mail it to you. But more likely, since this is an internet age, they will have a website where you'll go fill out the particulars, the information, give your contact information, and they will email you or give you a call and say, we have a test on, a market research test on such and such day. Will you be available? Sure, I'll be available any day for somebody to feed me or give me a product and I can get money. So do that. Go down there. Give them your honest, forthright opinion and enjoy the product and get paid. Simple as that. Hopefully, you will benefit from this information and hopefully you will use this information not just sit around like a bump on the lawn and go, oh yeah, that's nice. I wish I could do it. If you thought this was helpful information, please like and share this video. Also, at the top of your webpage, you'll see uh, your web address there. It says HTTP colon double slash and the YouTube address for this video. Please highlight it copy it and paste it to your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and any other social media page that you're affiliated with. And send it out to your friends on the uh, social media and says, I got paid eating a burger, or I got paid tasting stuff, or I got paid, um, oh goodness, I'm getting tongue-tied here. I got paid trying on drawers, or I got free rubbers, anything, you know, and, uh, do it like that and get yourself set up. Send them back to me. I will give them the information and they can go ahead and enjoy it too. There's no competition on this. Don't hide information from people because there's plenty to go around. They want a lot of people's differing opinions on this thing. So you might be able to influence the launch of a new product while getting paid at the same time. Make life interesting, and as long as you're making life interesting, it doesn't hurt to get paid too. Thanks for listening to the Cheapskate Channel, your number one resource for frugal conscious living. Thanks a lot, and check back with us for more interesting videos. Bye-bye.